Hello everyone. How are you? Hope you are fine at home and doing well during this hard time. In my previous videos, I discussed about the factorization of algebraic expression. Now I have come to you with my new video about factorization of polynomial. So let us understand what polynomial is. So polynomial let x be any variable and n be any positive integer and a0 a1 a2 so on a n are constants and these constants are real number then any expression in the form of a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus so on plus a0 is known as polynomial invariable s. So let us understand what the polynomial is. Here let us suppose x is variable x is variable and uh, for any positive integer integer n any positive integer n that is 1 2 3 4 so on are any positive integers and uh, a1 a2 a0, A1, A2, so on, An are constants and these constants are real numbers. Then any polynomial expression in the form of An x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 so on a n minus n x to the power n minus n is termed to be polynomial and this polynomial we represent it by p x since it is here variable is x hence this polynomial can be represented by px or you can also call it as fx so this can also be written as a a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus so on here a n minus n is 0 so a0 and x to the power n minus n is x to the power 0 which is equal to 1. So a0 or x to the power 0 is equal to 1. Hence any polynomial in this form, any expression in this form is said to be polynomial. Here n in uh, previously uh, we have discussed earlier we have discussed that uh, n is any positive integer n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. It cannot be minus 1, it cannot be minus 2 or it cannot be under root. So this is known as polynomial and polynomial representation can be px since the variable used here is fx, it, uh, x then it is represented by fx or it can be any expression in y. Let us suppose take an, uh, another expression like 2y square plus 3y plus 4 this is an expression which is uh, where y is involved as a variable hence this polynomial is polynomial in y so you can represent this polynomial by py here variable used is y therefore this polynomial is polynomial in y so py is equal to 2y square plus 3y plus 4 now if we come to the difference between the polynomial and uh, equation you find that polynomial is an expression whereas equation has both the sides here we are representing as py it has not been lhs or it has not got rhs where in in uh, expressions like x plus 2y equal to 0 
here you have lhs as well as rhs both so this kind uh, of expression is known as equation so there is the basic difference between polynomial and equation so this is an expression in constant and variable and this is a expression in constant and variable which has both sides lhs and rhs hence it is known as equation and this is expression is known as polynomial when you write a polynomial then the polynomial is always written in decreasing power of x or increasing power of x generally we write the polynomial in decreasing power of x so here x to the power n you can see and x to the power n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 the powers are going on decreasing hence this is the way to write any polynomial in a standard form before dividing and before uh, finding out the remainder or dividing any polynomial by any polynomial you first write the a dividend or divisor in the form of decreasing power of x then you will do the further division now here you can see that in this expression the highest power is n hence this is known as n is known as index of the polynomial or n is known as degree of the polynomial so this polynomial is of nth degree now if come if we come to py is equal to 2y square plus 3y plus 4 here the highest power of y is 2 hence the degree of this polynomial is equal to 2 now on the basis of degree of polynomial we have various types of polynomial and let us have the first polynomial which is constant polynomial first type of polynomial which is known as constant polynomial so now types of polynomial so first type is your constant polynomial now this constant polynomial let us suppose fx is equal to 2 or so you can see here only constant term is involved that's why this kind of polynomial is constant polynomial you can take another example also gx is equal to minus 2 upon 7 here again constant is only involved hence this kind of polynomial is known as constant polynomial now let us come to the second type of polynomial and second type of polynomial is linear polynomial linear polynomial whenever you are talking about line that means linear polynomial highest degree of the polynomial is equal to 1 so let us suppose fx is equal to x minus 12 here the highest degree of x is 1 hence this is the polynomial which represents linear polynomial now next third type of polynomial is quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial here here degree is equal to 1 here degree is equal to 0 here this can be written as 2 into x to the power 0 so the degree of x here is 0 hence this is constant polynomial here degree of highest degree of x is 1 so it is linear polynomial now let us suppose any polynomial px is equal to 3 upon 2y square minus 4y plus 12 so this is a polynomial whose highest power is 2 therefore degree here is 2 and degree here is 2 then this kind of polynomial is said to be quadratic polynomial now fourth kind of polynomial is your cubic polynomial polynomial let us suppose py is equal to 12x cube minus 3 by 2x square plus 5 so here highest power of x is 3 degree is 3 therefore it is known as cubic polynomial now coming to fifth type that is by quadratic polynomial by quadratic polynomial 
let us suppose you have another polynomial which is equal to 10x to the power 4 minus 7x cube plus 12x minus 20. This is the polynomial whose highest degree is equal to 4 and when the degree of any polynomial or index of any polynomial is equal to 4, uh, four then it is known as biquadratic polynomial. Now coming towards the zeros of the polynomial zeros of polynomial. Now zero of the polynomial is related to the degree of the polynomial. If the degree of the polynomial is equal to 4 then number of zeros A will be equal to number of zeros also you can call or number of roots also you can call or you can say the value of x will be equal to 4. You will get when you solve this kind of expression, you will get four values of x. Hence, these are known as four zeros of the polynomial. Now, coming back to the cubic polynomial, since the degree of polynomial is 3, you will get three values of x. When you solve this kind of expression, you will get three values of x. And these three values of x are known as three zeros of polynomial. Coming back to the quadratic polynomial, degree is 2 for quadratic polynomial. Hence, there exist two zeros of the polynomial. For linear polynomial, there exist one zero of the polynomial. And for constant polynomial, there exist no zero of the polynomial. So, zero of the polynomial is related to the degree of the polynomial. Now, let us find out the integral root degree integral root of uh, uh, the polynomial root or zero of the polynomial now let us suppose you have expression like uh, x cube plus 2x square plus 11x minus 12 first uh, you will find out the degree of the polynomial the highest power of the polynomial is 3 here Therefore, number of zeros or you can say number of roots is equal to 3. Total number of x, value, value of x you will get 3. 3 values of x you will get. Now, since here, uh, instead of uh, if you compare with the standard polynomial, that is fx is equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus so on. Here you can see the x to the power n instead of x cube is given, but instead of a n, no value is here, it means 1 is here. So, when a n is equal to 1, in this case, the integral roots, integral roots are factors, integral roots are factors of the constant that is minus 12. When you have polynomial, whose highest degree coefficient is equal to 1, then the integral roots will be the factor of the pure constant that is minus 12 here. So, minus 12 factor is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6 and plus minus 12. That means out of these values there exist three values for which the polynomial becomes zero. When the polynomial becomes zero then those values of x are termed to be the zero of the polynomial. For example let us suppose at x is equal to 3. Let us suppose x is equal to 3 then you will replace x by 3 in this polynomial. So, you will replace x by 3 in this polynomial. So, instead of x, you will replace by 3. So, x cube is uh, 3 cube, 3 cube, 
and the plus 2x square is 2 into 3 square 2 into 3 square then plus 11 into x minus 12 so plus 11 into 3 minus 12 now you solve this so 3 cube is 27 and plus 3 square is 9 to the 18 18 uh, here it is minus sign so minus 11 x so you will get minus here so 9 to the 18 then minus 33 minus 12 now for solving this kind of expression I have discussed in my previous videos that you add the positive terms together and you add the negative terms together and whatever results come you sub, uh, um, subtract the value from each other and you will get the result so here you will get 45 and here you will get 45 which is equal to 0 so since f3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 is 0 of polynomial x is equal to 3 is 0 of polynomial so in this way uh, you will get uh, since the index of this polynomial is 3 therefore in the similar manner when you replace the value of x for different values from here i have taken plus 3 you can take plus 2 minus 2 plus 4 minus 4 so many other values you can take for which the value of fx is 0 is termed to be the 0 of the polynomial let us take another value at x is equal to minus 1 replace minus 1 you replace x by minus 1 in the same expression let us see what happens so here minus 1 cube you will get plus 2 into minus 1 square you will get then minus 11 into minus 1 and then you will get minus 12 here now solve this remember that here it is minus 1 cube so answer will be negative here whenever minus 1 to the power odd you get then you will get negative value here minus 1 to the power even you get you will get positive value so plus 2 you will get here minus 11 into minus 1 it will become plus 11 and minus 12 again we will add positive values and negative values together so minus 1 and minus 12 are negative values and 2 and 11 are negative values. So minus 1 minus 11 is minus 13 and this is plus 13. This gets cancelled out and equal to 0. Hence so f minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to minus 1 is 0 of polynomial. 0 of polynomial fx in this way you have got two zeros x is equal to 3 x is equal to minus 1 in the similar manner you can get the third zero since the index or the degree of this polynomial is 3 therefore you will get three zeros of the polynomial so if the polynomial uh, polynomial comes to 0 after solving after substituting the value certain value of x if the polynomial becomes 0 then that particular value is termed to be the 0 or the factor of the given polynomial now let us suppose you have a polynomial like uh, uh, px is equal to 6x cube plus 5x square minus 3x minus 2. Now here a n is not equal to 1. In the previous case it was equal to 1. That is the highest. First you find out the degree of the polynomial 3. Here highest degree coefficient is not equal to 1. In this case you find out the rational root rational root means you will get the roots in terms of ratio also 
so you will get rational uh, roots first you will find out uh, the factors of minus 2 for this case you will find out the factors of pure constant here that is minus 2 and this is equal to plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 now you will find out factors of 6 here since the coefficient of x cube is not equal to 0 therefore you will find out factors of 6 so factors of 6 are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 6 these are the factors of 6 therefore rational roots rational roots for fx is equal to you will find out the ratio of these factors so plus minus 1 upon plus minus 1 is plus minus 1 plus minus 1 upon plus minus 2 is plus minus 1 upon 2 plus minus 1 upon plus minus 3 is plus minus 1 upon 3 plus minus 1 upon plus minus 6 is plus minus 1 upon 6 similarly you will take the ratio of 2 and 1 uh, so plus minus 2 upon 1 you will get plus minus 2 2 plus minus 2 upon plus minus 2 is plus minus 1 which is has already come in your factors next is plus minus 2 upon 3 and plus minus 2 upon 6 after solving you will get plus minus 1 upon 3 so these are the required rational roots for the following expression following polynomial in which the highest degree that is uh, the variable with the highest term is not coefficient of the variable with highest term is not equal to 1 so for this case you will find out the factors of pure constant pure constant is minus 2 so factors of minus 2 are plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 factors of the uh, uh, coefficient of x cube you will find out that is 6 that is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 3 now you will take the ratio of these factors so plus minus 1 upon plus minus 1 is plus minus 1 plus minus 1 upon plus minus 2 is plus minus 1 upon 2 then plus minus 1 upon plus minus 3 is plus minus 1 upon 3 then similarly plus minus 1 upon 6 then 2 upon 1 is 1 itself so plus minus 1 is already existing then plus 2 plus minus 2 upon plus minus 2 is plus minus 1 which is already existing plus minus 2 upon plus minus 3 so plus minus 2 upon plus minus 3 Plus minus two upon plus minus six is one upon three, which.